Hello friends, and today's video will be seeing about how to run an archive job using the Informatica Nearline for SAP VW. So in this brief session today what we'll see now is how to start the SNIC server and how to run a sample archive job from the SAP level and finally we'll also see if the job ran successfully by querying the archived data. So we'll begin with the starting of the SNIC server now. So we have a box here and uh, Currently, I'm in one of the locations uh, where the SNIC server is installed. Uh, usually, the environment variable sand underscore NLIZ refers to the place where SNIC server is installed. And uh, I'm in that location. And uh, the first thing that you need to do is uh, go to the bin directory and then dot check if the SNIC is present there. Okay, and you can start the SNIC server now. and I will see the contents of these logs to make sure SNIC server has started successfully So once the SNIC server has started, we'll proceed to the SAP side and uh, we'll see how to archive a sample cube today. And uh, yeah, it's now the SA service has started and the SA server should be starting soon. And uh, yes, we are close by. Yes. So we have uh, the SNIC server here and uh, the log shows that it started successfully. So we'll proceed to the next part of the video. So the next part of the video is running a sample archive job from SAP level. So this is my SAP logon here. So what we do is we go to the data warehousing workbench via the transaction RC1. And today we'll be archiving the cube zedu 12 i So the first thing that we need to do is create a data archiving process for the cube. So I just right click the cube and I need to choose my nearline connection that I'm going to take and it will be san underscore l power 1 and uh, the long a sample a data archive process for z2 tell by dap ok and uh, uncheck the adk base archiving because we are proceeding with the near line product here and uh, the selection profile will just leave it to the default one and uh, the semantic groups also will just leave it and uh, the maximum size in MB for the data packet uh, we'll just set it as 20 in our case so we'll activate this DAP now it should not take long So while activating the DAP what happens is uh, the metadata for this particular cube gets created in the SNIC server level. Um, actually if you see the SNIC server logs you'll be able to find those create table statements being present along with the set of domains uh, which the cube has. So in our case uh, yeah the data archiving process is activated now. So what we do now is uh, so the DAP is now activated so We'll just view the DAP now. It should be shown as active in the version part. Yeah, the DAP is now marked active. So what we'll do is we'll just run a sample archive job. So in order to do that, choose the manage option. When you right click the cube. And uh, make sure that the cube is compressed. This compression, uh, the F and E status from the SAP level, we need to make sure that the cube is in state F for the nearlining to complete without any issues. 
and uh, we proceed to the archiving and uh, what we do is we create a new archiving request and uh, say records older than 15 years because we gave this as one of the partition in characteristics so uh, the criteria here is to choose uh, all cubes this all the value that is older than 15 years to be archived and uh, we'll continue the status like you have an option to simulate and uh, run the process in background these two are for the simulation and um, yeah the other part is to run the actual job that one option is to run it in the background or one other one is to run it in the dialog and continue processing till what status we have the basic five states here we'll go and proceed till the end state that is the state when the data is archived into the FAS and also deleted from the SAP level so we'll just execute it in the dialog now yes now we've started executing the job in the dialog in the meanwhile we'll also check the activities on uh, the snake server side logs uh, just to see what is actually happening so if you see the logging you'll be seeing like uh, the actual job is now running in the log side and uh, we see that uh, the nailing tasks are getting initiated and uh, also the particular uh, NDL and uh, DAT files are also getting created the loader is also doing its job currently like we are in the earlier states so uh, once this proceeds like currently the logging is set to finest however like you'll be able to see what is the activity that the SNCC server is doing if you see the logging activity for the earlier command on SNCC server that I gave which was tail hyphen f sand underscore nls uh, slash log slash uh, sand underscore nls dot zero dot uh, log like it's the contents that are getting into that particular log so uh, this is actually from the logging side uh, we'll just check it on the SAP side too how to see the job we'll actually see the job log upon completion of the archive job that we are currently running so we'll just wait till the job completes usually what happens is uh, the loader runs the job and after that the table gets registered so uh, uh, we'll be getting those messages like what is the current status of the job in the SAP level itself if it's completed without any issues uh, should proceed fine now in our case so I think yeah now currently the queue status shows uh, no jobs to be running so I think uh, the job should be completed in the SAP level now yeah, actually if you see in the SAP level the jobs have completed successfully without any issues uh, say uh, just going through the logs yeah the request has been completed and uh, I guess we have the archive ready so once upon completion we see that one particular archive job for zedu 12i and uh, the status is shown here we can also query this active archive data that is the next part of the presentation that we are gonna see yeah, just to brief, uh, we just did the first two steps till now. That is, we started the SNCC server and we ran a sample archive job for the Zedu 12i cube. And uh, the next part is a querying of the near line data, how to do it from the SAP level. So, what we do is we proceed to the transaction list cube. Oops. Yeah, and it's asking for which info provider do I need to query the data for Zedu 12i dollar $n. Dollar $n refers to the archived data. If you simply give Zedu 12i, it'll see, it'll take the actual contents that is not archived, the actual contents present in the database instead of the new line data. So we're appending the dollar $n here. And uh, just go for field selection output and I will choose calendar year. Yes. We'll also choose aggregation, so there will be a lot of records shown. There should be an option. Yeah, use DB aggregation. And proceed with the query. It should not take long.
yeah we have the data from 90 to 97 that is 15 years back from now today it's 2012 so minus 15 again the, the end year is 97 of course and this cube had data starting from 1990 so I think we are good on this side so this was how you query the near line so in this video today what we saw was we just started the sneak server ran a sample archive job and also queried the near line data using the list cube transaction pro SAP that would be it. thank you very much and also request you like to give your comments you can just uh, forward it to the URLs that are seen here or send a mail to this particular ID so thank you very much thank you